so excited to take you along with me in this what I eat in a day but more protein based meal ideas. I woke up this morning and every morning I try to do a quick stretch just to wake up my muscles and now I always make my bed. I've really gotten into the habit of keeping my space clean, so if anything's left a mess the night before, I'll quickly clean up my blankets, just fold them nice and neatly. I don't know why, this just makes me feel like I'm gonna be more productive in my day. And this morning I was so tired, so I went to my kitchen and I grabbed myself a little energy drink. Good morning. I woke up this morning at 6.30 a.m., which is not that early, except I slept so miserably last night. I kept waking up and I actually woke up in like a hot sweat, like hot flashes. I don't know what's going on, if it's like hormonal or just maybe that it's getting hotter and it's turning into summer here. So maybe my room is not as cool at night. Probably gonna have to like turn on AC or get a fan. Um, anyways, I thought today I would do a little like what I eat in a day to gain muscle, some protein based meal ideas that I mean are realistically healthy and not just like protein. I don't know. I feel like anytime I see like people post, oh, like protein meals, it's like literally only protein. And I find it looking kind of boring or like it's lacking something like vegetables. So anyways, little ramble there, but I'm gonna take us to the gym right now. I'm drinking a little Alani. Probably not the healthiest thing for me in the morning, but let's be honest, like it doesn't hurt you to have it once in a while. And this morning I woke up so tired and I was like, you know what, an Alani sounds really good. And this is one of my favorite flavors, the cherry slush. I'm gonna take us to F45 because I'm doing a free week trial there this week. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some ingredients for like meal prepping or just like what I'm gonna eat today. And I'll show you some of the protein meals that I eat that satisfy me and are yummy and realistically healthy. Okay, something I want to say is I never used to weight train or use weights because I was afraid of being bulky. I don't know why. I think it was just really advertised to me that, oh my god, if I lift weights, I'm going to become huge. And I actually feel like the opposite happens. I just feel like I've actually toned out. You can see I have more muscle definition and I've made videos of talking about this, but yeah. and. I also have a long way to go, like I am still needing a little assistance band with my pull-ups and I'm swinging a lot over here, but I love it and I think everyone should strength train. I'm back from F45 and I went to Ralph's in the veggie department, broccoli. I bought some canned tomatoes and canned chickpeas for like a veggie kind of stew that I make that's like vegan plant-based kind of protein, so. Also in the veggie department, I bought this the other day, but I got myself some mixed greens for like a simple salad, zucchini, baby carrots, because this is so easy to snack on. And then for some healthy carbs, I got potatoes that I'm gonna like roast with like turmeric and some paprika. Oh, that sounds so good. And I'm feeling lazy. I could have just bought real rice and like cooked it, but I just bought this like minute rice just to have on hand for when I'm feeling really lazy. And then for protein, I need to shop at Ralph's more often because I got this. I got two chickens for the price of one. And I think it's because they're gonna go bad or like they need to be eaten or frozen. Um, they need to be cooked or frozen before Thursday. So I'm gonna have to cook a lot of chicken today. Other protein sources I got, I got some frozen shrimp. This I just thought would be easy to have whenever I need like quick little saute. And I got peeled and deveined. So I really recommend getting the already peeled ones so you can just like defrost it, cook it really quickly and not have to like peel it, you know? And then the last thing I got for the protein department is this canned tuna. Just cause I feel like it's so easy and like, I could just crack open a can, mix it with some mayonnaise, make a little sandwich or add it to like rice and have a little bowl, so. I quickly put everything away and then had to check a few work emails and the kitten kept wanting to sit on my lap, which was really cute. I had a few meetings, so I just put on some light makeup. Oh, the tongue, she's out. <laughs> and this is my little work from home fit. I'm being a productive girl and also washing my sheets, so. Okay, well. 
Me and Simba are gonna make a smoothie this morning. Isn't that right, Simba? Out of the way. Sorry, Simba. Okay, let's make this protein smoothie. So, I'm gonna use a whole banana. The riper the better, because it just tastes better. And I would have liked to have frozen this, but oh well. This protein powder, I've been really liking right now. So I do a full scoop of this. 18 grams of protein and plant-based. I feel like I can't have whey, personally. It hurts my stomach. Then I get some berries. And I'd say probably about a cup, maybe a little less. Spinach. Hello. Oh, big chunk. I'm gonna use some almond milk and some coconut water. I think that's about enough. now 12 p.m. and I just realized that I have to film a sponsorship video but I'm gonna bring you with me to go get some mocktail ingredients this will also be fun for me this will be my first time really trying to make like a fun mocktail recipe and I'm gonna be tasting it so that's why I'm gonna include it in this what I eat in a day probably just gonna go dress like this because I'm lazy and I don't really feel like changing. But funny enough is I'm probably gonna have to change for this sponsorship video. So reminder that social media isn't reality. And if you see that video of me on my Instagram thinking, wow, she looks so good. I never dress up like that to be at home. I don't either. So it's for a video. <laughs> All right, now let's make some lunch. For this meal, I'm gonna cut up my potatoes into little cubes so that I can bake them a lot faster and easier. For my seasonings, I used turmeric, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. And I did the same combination for the chicken, but I added a little bit more smoked paprika because I love that smoky taste. I also find it easier to mix all the spices in a bowl and then mix up the chicken like so. While those two are cooking, I'll steam some broccoli with a little bit of water like so. I wish I had a colander to steam it, it would make it a lot easier. Time to add some bell pepper and then make this a little like fajita vegetable situation. Broccoli is steaming. My mocktail experimentation is complete. I'm probably gonna end up drinking both of these. So let's add that to my what night eat in a day. <laughs> chickens feeling like comfortably full i'm not full yet but i feel like i was eating really fast so i'm just gonna let myself slow down a little bit drink some more of my mocktail drink some water as well and then continue eating maybe in like 10 minutes or so also so good to be present when you're eating a meal and not like multitasking like i am <laughs> I made myself some mango ginger tea to help with digestion also because it tastes really good and then i got ready to go on a walk i am not gonna be back i was really craving these as a snack these are my favorite snack from trader joe's right now so i put some in my little heart-shaped bowl and i'm gonna have my diet coke he's hungry too For dinner, I made this really lazy and cheap meal. I used egg whites and then mixed in my 90 second brown rice. So I added some soy sauce and sriracha and it's pretty good. I was debating whether or not to add broccoli into it, but I'm kind of not feeling veggies right now. So I'm just gonna leave it plain. I know this is such a basic meal, but I feel like it's so high in protein. It's really comforting. I know the texture might look weird or it might not look delicious to you and that's fine. We all have different taste preferences, but just like give it a try, okay? I just wanna see if you'd like it, if you just gave it a shot. <laughs> Why does this seem like reminiscent of the Emily Mariko salmon rice bowl? 
I feel like it's basically the same, but egg whites, kind of like fried rice style, and with canned tuna. So much cheaper. <laughs> That's so good. I'm opening another one because it's just so good together. We shared this ice cream while watching a show. I think it was like chocolate caramel flavored. It was so good, it had chunks of caramel in it. And then around 9.30, I crawled into bed and read a book. I also like to drink some bedtime tea to help me sleep. But I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and I'll hopefully see you in the next YouTube video. Thanks for watching.